Hello, my name is Dwayne Robinson, and today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we can use Power Virtual Agents to create a flight status checking agent for the airline industry and for different transportation cases. So as you can see here, inside of Power Virtual Agents, we actually have created a flight checker bot. And our flight checker bot is going to have many different topics that we want to be able to talk with. And as you can see here, I've actually created one to check arrival gates, baggage claim numbers. Um, we were thinking about building a book of flight. And then you can see here flight status and such. So we're going to take a look at this flight status example here. And what we'll do is we'll scroll up here to the top so that you can get an idea of kind of what's going on with this. As you can see, I can easily come in and add different trigger phrases that will allow me to train the bot and the natural language understanding to be able to understand what's going on. I also have a question node here where I'm asking, well, what's the flight number that you're looking for information on? You'll see that I've even come in to the question information and I can add additional components such as uh, retry messages and retry prompts. Uh, this is a way where you can allow uh, follow-up questions where things don't look quite right. Um, however, you'll also see that I can come in and change and have a different speech track so that you can see I'm telling someone the specifics of this. You'll also notice that I created an entity, and this entity is one that's called flight number. And flight number is using a regex expression which allows me to be able to say, what does a flight number look like so that I can pick up the flight number uh, when I just pass it through in normal states. Um, so we'll go back into that flight status again, just to walk it down. You'll see here that I'm doing some work around variables where I'm making sure that if someone gave me the flight number and the flight number didn't have uppercase, um, in the in the flight number i need it to be all uppercase so that when i pass it to the api on the back end that i'm able to be able to uh, get the correct information you'll see here i'm getting the date uh, and time value for now and i'm also getting um, going to take that and format it appropriately as well as get tomorrow's date and format it appropriately for the api so these are all just prepping the information so that it can go to the api then I have went to Power Automate and I've created a Power Automate flow. What I need to pass to it is I need to pass the flight number, the start date, and the end date of the time frame that I want to check for that flight. Uh, I'm using FlightAware as the back end API. And let's take a look at that where I'm passing this information in. I go through, I initialize some variables as you can see here um, specifically. And then once I do all the initialization of all the variables, the things that I want to be able to calculate, I simply come in and with the FlightAware um, connector, I'm able to go in and have the flight number passed, the start date and the end date that I collected before. I actually take that, give it the information of the JSON that's going to be returned back. I go through and make sure that I set all my variables appropriately. And then I say, map all of these back. Now, by doing this, what happens is on the backside inside of PBA, you'll see that I have all of these variables were automatically created for me. And I was able to look for things such as if, the, if it didn't return back anything, then that means there wasn't a flight number for that day. And I'm able to let people know that they're that using the variable of the flight number, that there was no flight for that that day. In case that and then end the conversation. But you'll also see I can follow through that if, if it actually returned it, make sure that I make the time uh, in, a, in the way that I want it displayed. I also can uh, do things with the time, both the start and the end time. Uh, these are just the time variables that I want to pass in to the visual. Then you have here where I'm actually making a speech-friendly version of the time of the arrival time. So that way, Whenever I do a speech track, it sounds nice. And you can see here that I'm actually passing the speech friendly time information, the flight number and the status of the flight. But if I switch over to the text version, the text version actually gives me an adaptive card. 
So now let's take a look at this and let's see what that looks like. So you'll see here that I've got the flight checker and I can come in here and say flight status. I'll just throw in DL-997 since I live in Nashville and go to Seattle all the time. I know this flight number. And you'll see here that it does this. But I can also check the baggage claim. And I've done this all with the same API. So I can do the DL-997. And you can see that we will get back the, uh, the baggage claim. I can even uh, do other things such as checking equipment type, being able to check arrival times and all of that. Again, this is just a quick demonstration of what you can do with Power Virtual Agents. Very simply, not a single line of code was written to be able to do the entire thing, and it's just a great way to showcase what you can do.